right, welcome to another edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV. Hey, yeah. check it out. Our set changed. Why? I know. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV where we've been seated. This is awesome. Ooh, much more comfortable. I don't think I can ever stand again. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> I insist. It has to go on the rider to the brown M&Ms, and we must have chairs for every future edition of Beer for Breakfast AVB. Would you please welcome, joining us from the Carl Strauss Brewing Company, where we just happen to be today, one more time, it's Paul Segura, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great to be here. Producer Danielle is sitting beside me, everybody. Yeah. And a very, very special guest joining us from West Sacramento, California, from Bike Dog Brewing Company. Please welcome AJ Tendig, the co-founder of Bike Dog Brewing. Very nice to have you here, buddy. My pleasure. Now, what brings you to town? Uh, so I'm actually down for a uh, professional conference for, the, for the, my day job, and, uh, but my brother lives down here, and so I've made a lot of brewery connections, and uh, reached out to Paul's and say, hi, I want to come down. I said, hey. Why don't you come talk beer with us? I said, all right. That's so basically, like you're already playing hooky from your actual day job by hanging out with us here. Well, it starts tomorrow, so I... Oh, okay. Not, not yet. Good. This is good. You get in the town early, you have some beers, you hang out with friends, yeah. do a little bit of uh, uh, webcasting and so on, and then you go on to your regular job. Yeah, then I make actual money. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I hear you, fist bump. Okay, good. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, a, a, an IPA that uh, you guys put together called Sand Dog. Yeah, I mean, I've been coming down uh, to San Diego for like a decade. Uh, I've got family down here. And really, a lot of San Diego beers are what kind of got me into craft beer. Um, and so when we started the brewery, one of our kind of early IPAs, uh, we started three and a half years ago, uh, we wanted to kind of make an homage to San Diego style IPA. So we named it Sand Dog. Uh, Sand dog. All right. So, like with Bike Dog Brewing, was there is there a specific dog who was the inspiration of the brewery name? You know, we've all all the partners have had kind of like a long lifetime growing up and as an adults with pets and dogs and stuff, and so it was really not not a single one. And actually, the logo isn't doesn't look like any of our dogs that we've ever had. <laughs> uh, that's all right. It could it could almost be a Marilyn if there was a little flare on the end of it. This dog is getting around really, really well, though. It's like he's permanently attached to the bicycle, you know? It's very efficient. I dig it. Um, two of my favorite things, bikes and dogs. Yes. And beers. And beers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a triple threat. That, that's kind of like, you know, you get asked, well, how'd you come up with that name? It's like, well, it's basically, I mean, the short version, it's like it's the three things we're passionate about is brewing and bikes and dogs. So you have put them all together. <laughs> and then we're going to go put So them. if anybody has not been to San Sacramento in a while and checked out the beer scene there, I was up there uh, last year, and that's when I met AJ and had his beers and they were super good. And I was told by lots of people, you gotta go check out Bike Dog if you're in Sacramento because their beers are solid and they're cool people. And it did not disappoint. It was a really cool hang getting to know AJ and drinking his beers for the first time, so. Cheers, AJ. Welcome to San Diego, or welcome back. Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. What are the finishing hops on that? Uh, Cascade and Amarillo. Mm. That is delicious. Super crisp. Yeah, it's it just is. funny. We were, we were talking to a brewery this morning, and he was he pronounces Amarillo. It's like I wonder if that's just because I don't have any Spanish influence in my <laughs> 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 But I would think Texas Amarillo. Like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I go Amarillo too. Oh. I love the hop. I mean, it's really orangey, and the Cascade kind of gives it a grapefruity, slightly piney. Yeah, I got a lot of like the grapefruit pith on it. Yeah, it's really good. And it's nice and dry, like a San Diego style IPA. Now, when you're over in San Francisco, do they say, oh, see, Sand Dog, they named it for us in San Francisco. Does that ever happen? No, I think the D kind of right after it kind of right. just lend, lends itself, with the, the D and the dog just kind of lends to San Diego. That's good, because I don't want to have to school those people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Are you sure you don't want to? Like, it's kind of fun, isn't it? Well, it's obviously a San Diego style IPA. It's a great example of the beer, so it sh there shouldn't be any ambiguity, right? What he was going for. It's a great beer, man. 7.4% ABV. And then uh, we're gonna try the Mosaic Pale Ale, uh, which I believe is right here. All right. How did I know? It's like I could see through the bottle <laughs> and I could see what the label was. Um, uh, small batch beer. Uh, tell, please tell me the why it's important to differentiate from Sacramento and West Sacramento, California, as you have on the flag here. 
Um, you know, it's it's right across the river, so it's uh, and it's technically in a different county. Um, it is. Yeah, there, it's Yolo County versus Sacramento County. Um, there's a long, long history of the development of uh, Sacramento and West Sacramento, and how uh, you know West Sacramento kind of had fits and starts. On it was the end of the railroad from San Francisco, and then they built a bridge, and then no one cared about West Sacramento for the next ten years, and then they did something else, and it was big, and then no one cared about it. Uh, so it's, it's weird, it's, it's very close. I mean, the downtown core goes right up to the river, and then there's West Sacramento, and West Sacramento kind of hasn't developed as fast uh, until now recently, it really has started. And so folks in West Sacramento kind of have their own identity, and they're kind of a small town. Um, and you know, it's one of the reasons why we were there, is like we really identified with that, uh, and I live there. Um, so I mean, there is some differences, and at the same time, there's not, right? We're super excited they're developing the, the uh, riverfront, it's gonna be an awesome spot. Drake's Brewing actually is gonna open a, um, a facility right on the river. It's gonna be a fantastic spot to have a beer and go like hang out by the water. So, uh, you know, the urban core is now finally expanding to actually kind of cover both sides of the river. They're gonna build a couple new bridges. Um, so, I mean, we're all about that. We're, I mean, it's, we, we identify with Sacramento, but you know, technically we're in West Sacramento. It's a little bit different. We like it there. It's like a neighborhood brewery. Yeah. I yeah. see it's kind of almost like kind of like an East County, as you have like more East County breweries coming up or South County breweries, you're still in that San Diego, but it's just a little bit regionalized. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I think we're maybe three miles from downtown, so it's a pretty tight area. Mm. I mean, that's where we sell most of our beer is downtown. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> I feel like for you, it's mm. everywhere you go. Well, <laughs> I'm guessing with the mosaic in most beer places. <laughs> it's mosaic hops, right? Yep. How did I? Oh, guess? mosaic. Yeah. Yep. It Another is great a, variety. Um, so it is not a single hop beer, though. Is is yours? Yes. Yeah, we use uh, mosaics are high alpha hops, so we could use them in the you know beginning of boil, middle of boil, dry hop, late kettle, anywhere. Um, They're also more expensive and harder to get than CTZ, so we use Columbus in the to bitter, nice clean bitter. Um, a little bit of citter just to kind of open up the um, mosaic hops a little bit late in the kettle, and then all, um, all mosaic dry hop. Mm, I, I think so. Uh, sorry. I mean, I don't know. a nice healthy pour there, Tommy. Thank you. You don't have cooties, do you? That could be mine. Well, maybe. I don't know. You know what it is? Right. It's, it's sitting down gives you better leverage for doing the pour. I can't wait to stand up after this. this is helping. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers there. Cheers. For the well, like sitting down is helping my digestion. Yeah. <laughs> smells good. Mm. Oh. A so, little bit uh, yeasty, but not n nothing close to uh, like a Vermont style. But it's really juicy. <clears throat> yeah, we don't uh, we don't filter, but we do fine. Um, it was mostly just the bottle was sideways in a cooler and rouse it up a little bit here. Just now I get a lot a of fruit out of this. Um, I'm getting some mango and some blueberry in there, which is really cool because mosaics are kind of known for that, but you don't always get them in some people's mosaic beer. But you, in yours, it totally comes through. Yeah, this is one of our, um, we, we designed a pale ale recipe that we were kind of going to do like, a, not a single hop series, but kind of keep a simple, real simple grain build and start kind of highlighting hops. And we did mosaic and I forgot what our second one was. Uh, and then we kind of said, no, let's just keep on making mosaic. We really like this beer, so. That's great. So Tommy, do you taste blueberry in this? I don't. Me fact, either, that's I, why I'm like, wait a second. But I'm, this is how you know that our palates are not trained. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And I mean, I was gonna comment, you know, Paul on how skilled and, you're, you're, and refined your palate is to be able to go and find this. Like, I'm tasting this and I'm like, well, this is a really good pale ale. Like, I want <laughs> right? more. That's what I'm this getting. It's delicious. To. Yeah, no, I get no fruit, so that's, that's you get, like You don't get the mango either? No. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. well, do, you, do you at least like it? Oh, I yes! Like it. No, no, it's like it. Yeah, that's, no, but that's just like that's the given, interesting yeah. thing that's about what matters. it. Could you see crushing a lot of these when oh. it's yes. 100 degrees in Sacramento? Dude, yeah, absolutely. With a little bit of the, uh, what do they call the, the wind that comes, the, the Delta Breeze. Yeah, right? Delta Breeze, yeah, and we got the Tule Fog in the winter. The Tule Fog. The Tule Fog, yeah. That's the Tule Fog. That's that creepy fog that's like about eight feet above the ground that you always have those big pileups on the freeway in. Oh. Yeah. I've been there during that. It is it's creepy. It's weird, man. Yeah. But I'm thinking the milk stout would probably be better during the Thule fog than this beer. Right, because with the Thule fog, you But then fog, again, no beer is bad, yeah. really, during... Yeah. Is beer bad ever? But sometimes a beer causes a Thule fog. You want to stay inside <laughs> when that's going on, right? Yeah. <laughs> and again, you want to stay inside when that's going on. <laughs> hmm. This is really good, man. I dig this. Well, and it's like, I ha I'm tasting hints of 
your guys' mosaic session IPA, which is one of my favorites, but it has a totally different taste to it also. Like, this is delicious. I, I could say that you can mow the lawn after having this. Yeah, I'm gonna go mow the lawn right now. In fact, we got so much rain. You can go to my house and do that. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll go do that afterwards, but we, we got two more beers we wanna try. Lawn? I do. Now, first of all, so we tried the, uh, the Sand Dog IPA, in case you missed that part. We just tried the Mosaic Pale Ale. Which is also right here. Oh, what the hell is this? He just keeps breaking out beers. Right? That's, the, uh, that's the dog ears. Oh, this is the dog, dog ears. ears. All right. All right. Wow. Check this out. The gold can. It's almost like the, the gold ticket that you yeah, get from we, Willy we Wonka. Yeah, we bought our crawler machine. They're like, hey, you want gold cans or silver cans? It's like, without hesitation, gold. I want gold cans. May I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not going to shotgun it? Oh. Dude. <laughs> Too late. People from the, do people actually do that with crawlers? Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> if you've done it, I want to see a video because I'm so curious now. <laughs> well, that was just a missed opportunity there, Danielle. I know. 32 ounces of 7.5% beer just. <laughs> oh God. Well, like, Talk about a beer shower at that point. I had trouble doing a 16 ounce of uh, PBR a couple weeks ago. Rookie. <laughs> I'm getting old. I was sort of excited when we uh, we started doing a little bit of canning three or four months ago. I was like, oh yeah, I'm finally gonna shotgun a beer. I've never have. <laughs> but we we do these um, the shrink wrap labels, and it doesn't really uh, lend, oh, it, lend no! itself to that. So, oh really? So I still have not. I'm a bad brewer. Now this has an interesting hop aroma. It's a little bit more, uh, I would say, piney and grapefruity, like a cascade. I was going to ask if there was a Nelson in this. You're, you're making us wonder. Help, help. Citra. Citra. Ah. Lots of citra. Ooh. Oh my. We both guessed wrong. I don't feel so bad. I'm not a brewmaster. <laughs> this is one I was telling you. It's the, uh, it's the same grain bill as our sand dog. This Keep is it super good. light. Um, and the first batches we were playing with kind of an English ale strain, and then we've moved over now for this batch to try the uh, kind of Vermont strain, which uh, a lot of folks find in the, the hazy beers that are kind of getting popular now, but not, not hazy. The, the London 3 strain? Clarified. Uh, no, the Vermont. So the, the one that they've kind of cherry picked probably from the bottom of a heady can, which is okay. problematic maybe that they're picking the, yeah. the weakest yeast to, to propagate, but, but it works pretty well for us still. It's interesting. I get a dill like flavor. In a, in a beer. Anybody else get dill? Is it just me because no. I'm a dill? Maybe. So, I, I, so you know, San, we were talking about this earlier with um, the Sand Dog IPA. It's a very San Diego IPA. I haven't had a lot of beers from NorCal at all. Is there like a San Francisco IPA, a Sacramento style IPA? Like, do you guys have your own style up there at all? You know, no. Sonoma's don't... got some IPAs, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, craft beer in the in the Bay Area and Sacramento and, and Sonoma is, is really blowing up, but I don't think that we have the, kind of the same identity that, say, like, the Pacific Northwest definitely kind of has a style. San Diego definitely kind of has a style. Uh, you know, Vermont kind of area definitely has a style. Um, I don't I don't know. Do you, do you think, like, the Midwest self-identifies as a style or just more kind of English I've been leaning? doing this a long time, and I remember back in the day, Pacific Northwest style IPA was, uh, was a definitely sort of an identical identifiable style, yeah. Um, but maybe that was more like Seattle, Oregon, or S Oregon, Washington type of IPA, like Pike or whatever. Um, but, but yeah, no, I don't, uh, I don't think there is really a Northern California kind of a, a thing, I guess. I, mean, I, think, I think that you need to, you know, blaze the trail for it. It's hard when you're so Sacramento small. <laughs> How many craft brewers are there in, in Sacramento County? You know, it's getting to be a little bit like down here that you can't even keep up. There's a bunch that I have never really? even been to that are just like having their one year anniversaries and I still haven't been there. Oh, um, really? There's probably 60 now in the six county region. So our, our six county region is roughly the same population as San Diego County. So it's probably a bigger land mass, but similar people size. So right. we're, we're definitely not as many as down here per capita, but you know, 60 breweries is a lot of breweries for a uh, well, I saw months. that you were recently uh, given an award for being Small Business Person of the Year. Yeah. And so you must be growing fast. Well, you know, when you start microscopically small, there's only one way to go, <laughs> <laughs> you hope. Um, yeah, we started on like a little three and a half barrel brew house. We probably could do like 150 barrels of beer a year. That's like 300 kegs. Um, and just as soon as the money, like, hey, we're actually, people are going to pay us for beer. This is awesome. Uh, 
our first weekend, we bought a new Bright Tank because it's like that was our bottleneck, and it was like we're going to run out of beer constantly if we don't fix it. And then it was the next thing: bought a couple tanks, bought a couple more tanks, and uh, bought a new brew house last summer. So yeah, wow. it's hard to like, oh yeah, we're like three thousand percent from where we started, but you know when you yeah. Right. Well, you multiply this 3,000 times, it's still only... Well, at least you didn't like start in your bathtub, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the response was immediately there locally. Oh, it was insane. Yeah, we... Um, I don't know. Like we, we, we did a pretty good job of advertising ourselves on social media before we, we started. And uh, we were like, hey, we're going to have... We're open, right? Let's do a grand opening. There was 1,000 people that came through our little warehouse wow. that day. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. We literally were on our last two kegs of beer. Wow. Uh, finally, like at 8 o'clock, it finally chilled out. And we're like... <laughs> uh, there was a while where I was like buying, I go down to the store down the street and buy like a six pack of Union Jack IPA to pour myself a beer because I didn't want to drink our own beer because we were that tight on running out all the right. time and I felt right. bad about drinking any of it. Uh, and, Sounds you know, like that's a good problem to have. Yeah. yeah. I heard that a lot, but it's, <laughs> there's still a problem. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been fun growing, but it's, it's uh, and, and it's been good too, like the it's allowed us to really kind of understand the market and understand our customers and understand the industry a little bit. You know, we didn't start with any um, industry experience. I was kind of chatting with Paul earlier. I feel like Sacramento or San Diego is kind of a, um, has enough history and knowledge base that a lot of times like when a brewer leaves to start their own brewer, like they've worked in the industry for 10 or 20 years, like right. this is their retirement or whatever. And in Sacramento, you know, nine, nine out of 10 of the breweries have been started by a home brewer, you know, us, oh, us included. Wow. Uh, and so, you know, it's just kind of a different, different market. People are kind of learning, learning their game and, um, definitely a lot of folks though, really, really bringing it, which has been great. Well, that brings us to uh, the final beer that we're going to try. And this is the, uh, the nitro milk stout. Now, because th th there's one of those like Guinness style. Nah, this one's a no? little, little bit different. So they actually, in we inject liquid nitrogen right on top of the beer, right before it gets seamed. Oh. So we got, we got some instructions on the side here. It's just let's just shake it for a couple seconds, let it chill out for a couple seconds, and then just... So wait a second, Tommy. you're saying to shake a beer right now. Yeah. What, what, what could go wrong, right? Just is, What could go wrong? Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hold my beer. <laughs> I'm watching the clock here. <laughs> no. <laughs> go for it. Do it. Oh. Okay. Nope. Well, that wasn't like I got that. a little on oh, me, but that's okay. Immediately. <laughs> I go home smelling like a brewery most days. Yeah. So I guess that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, so I guess that like nice, that yeah, nice right? kind of a Guinness cascade there is the, the head. Oh, yeah, down. you totally get it right there. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. And so it's liquid nitrogen, not, you know, nitrous. So anybody hoping that uh, <laughs> there might be some special effects from this or might get disappointed. Yeah, get the... Uh, um, all right. So it's a little hard it's to share nice this one because the, the first pour is always the best and has the big, thick, creamy You're going to get the mustachio? It looks yeah. like I'm, I'm heading right <laughs> towards it, Danielle. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, you guys. Cheers, AJ. Thanks for joining us today, yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is fantastic. Learning a bit about Sacramento beers. Oh, that's like delicious. Brewing. Oh, that's really yes. good. So right. cool. this, is, this is definitely one of the beers we're better known for. Of course, it's not an IPA, so it doesn't sell half as much. But in terms of like, when you think about us, it's like mosa the Mosaic Pale and this beer. Um, and of course, you know, we sell probably more Sand Dog than both of those combined. But um, that's kind of what we're known for, I guess, as, in terms of it's core delicious. beers. It's delicious. It's really, really but good. But it's slightly smoky. Is there a smoked malt in there? Like almost a tobacco-like flavor. That's what I was thinking. I was getting a total smoky behind it. No. Interesting. Black, oh. chocolate, crystal lady, Maris. Wow. Wow. I need some chocolate with this. Oh, AJ, yeah. I'm going to be in town in May and June, and I am totally going to come out and visit you guys. I hope you do. Yeah, let me know. I'm totally going to come by. That's awesome. Mm. Anybody who goes to Sacramento should go to Bike Dog Brewing Company. They're one of the better breweries up there, amongst a lot of good breweries. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, you know, as more and more come, there's of all levels, and, you know, some people are newer, and they're kind of getting their feet underneath them, and that's understandable. Yeah. And, um, but some of the new guys are really bringing it hard. And then we got some now guys that are getting a little bit bigger and older, knee deep. And uh, Track 7 are got big production facilities and yeah. cranking out great beers. That actually, probably some of them are coming down here, I bet. Yeah. Well, uh, well there's also Rubicon, which has oh, been yeah. there forever. It was there when I was going to school. Yeah. It's just cool to know that there's a scene in Sacramento outside of just Midtown. And so, again, that, that, that's why I think it's so cool you're playing up the West Sacramento angle and making it more of a, of a local and a neighborhood thing. And I had no idea that West Sacramento was YOLO, not, not yeah. Sacto County. Yeah, totally different. That's a new one.
The website is uh, bikedogbrewing.com. AJ Tenick, everyone, yeah. co-founder of Bike Dog Brewing. And, and I love this flag. I, I love the logos. That's just, that's genius. And check out, show the tat. Oh yeah. You even got that on your arm. Uh, can I employ you to make a blonde that's called Marilyn? Because my dog's name is Marilyn <laughs> and she's blonde. <laughs> and it'd be perfect. She's a calendar dog. It'd be the San Marilyn or the something San like that. The San Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need to take the radio show to Sacramento. Yes. We'll do a collab beer. There we go. Road. road trip, everybody. Little dog fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> we could ride bikes there, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Afterwards? 500 miles. <laughs> I mean, it might take a couple days. I think, the, I think the segment's coming to an end because the lights just <laughs> dimmed. Maybe it's the beer. <laughs> yes. It's having an effect on us. Yes. It's kicking in. Anyways, AJ, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Uh, beer for Breakfast ABV. Check out all the editions of uh, Beer for Breakfast ABV at 91X.com and previous editions of the radio version of Beer for Breakfast as well on 91X. Thanks for uh, checking in, you guys. Now you. Have some more beer and get back to work.